Hello boys and girls. Uh, if you've been wanting you might be thinking it's it's very weird to get some advice from someone who's playing lost spot. Like, you, you, you probably think a fucking retard. Probably think, oh why why is this fucking retard giving us an advice? And how 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 I should how I should approach 3D, how I should learn 3D, this fucking dude is playing lost art. Uh uh first of all I don't know. Second of all, I'm still hangover. So that's probably that's probably one of the reasons why I'm doing this video. Uh anyways. If you've been wanting to learn 3D uh, uh shit. If you've been wanting to learn 3D, just stick to one software. I know it's very hard to get, it's very easy to get caught up with, you know, oh, I want to learn Maya, oh, I want to learn Blender, oh, but Maya is the industry standard, fuck the industry standard, you know, just, just, just play, just, just use the thing, just use, just use, just use how, what, what software you want to use, sure, I mean, you, you'll you'll be in the you you will be in the advantage if you want if you you're going to use Maya as a starting point since obviously everyone is doing Maya now. But if you're just starting and if you hate how ugly the fucking UI is in Maya, then 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 use a Blender. If you hate how Blender looks and you're you, you probably have a, a boomer mentality because. There's no fucking way that that any young young kid would like how like how Maya would look. I, I mean I I mean Maya Maya is a great tool. Okay, don't get me wrong. That's why it's a fucking industry standard in the first place. Then again, there's a high chance that if you learn the fundamentals, the basic fun fundamentals and basic techniques that you, you learn while using blender you, there's a high chance I could easily migrate those knowledge those fundamentals in Maya as well because here's the thing if you already have a knowledge and you, you already have your fundamentals down in 3d 80% of the 80% of the process of migrating to another software is just, just you learning how to navigate the fucking software that's it the time that you're going to waste is not you relearning re how to how to do polygon modeling how to do you know w what should you do when you want a hard surface modeling no you you want the, the thing that you have to learn if you already have the knowledge, you already have a background in 3D, is how to navigate the fucking software because for some reason they can't decide on a universal fucking way to do it. I don't know why, I don't know why they have to be so extra in, in this fucking things, but you know, that's it, that's literally it. I, I'm pretty sure anyone, even 3D experts right now, what's up, hello? uh if you agree do let me know you, you they would probably agree that 80 per, yeah 80 percent of the of the time you don't you're not going to relearn how to do 3d you're going to learn how to navigate the actual software it's very technical the things that you have to do is is very technically based is that even a fucking word anyways yes that's it and if you're worrying about oh but, but uh, blender has a different texturing oh and maya has a different texturing method as well well um, that's your problem <laughs> should you take should you take my word should you take my advice probably not especially coming from someone who's playing lost art while, while having a hot was 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 oh while i still have a fucking hungover but 
if you're worried about not being able to cross you know cross migrate your textures then i think that's what that's what usd comes universal data or something it's some kind of some kind of data file or whatever that that is very very universal therefore the word the name universal i don't know the s data yeah but if you want if you want to be flexible then just learn how to texture in maya because the thing is the only difference is the nodes but if you if you have like i said if you, I, I know i'm being redundant if you have the knowledge and what you know masking normals diffuse albedo rough roughness glossiness if you have all of those things already in your fucking brain i am very sorry for the curse word you ha already have those things you already have those knowledge then it's not really gonna take a while for you to relearn everything the only annoying part anything anything that you know involves software's technical shit the very first thing that would annoy you would be the technical stuff that's it so yeah if you if you hate how maya looks then go to blender if you hate how blender looks then go to maya don't worry about don't worry about you know oh uh, but i'm not gonna get a job i am not gonna but I, what i wanna be i wanna be an animator in in in, in disney but they only use maya well I mean there's a lot of studio that is now opening up you know there's no elitism they're you know they're getting around the, they're getting around that you know, idea of maya is superior whatever you know that blender is still shit no they're already getting around that idea that stigma is there's already a netflix movie netflix animation that uses fully use blender i think so if you worry about not getting a job if you you fully use blender why why the fuck did i <laughs> if you if you if you worry about not being able to find a job when you use blend blender then you don't really have to worry because you could, there's there's also a high chance that two years three years from now blender is going to be you know and just going to be an industry standard as well because even even unreal engine is now opening up you know add-ons you know plugins for their for blenders so yeah uh, in about a year two years from now blender is gonna be another industry standard as well and up and if that happens then it's up to you now if you have the skills then you would probably get a job unlike me how what did you expect like i said what the fuck did you expect from someone playing lost art <laughs> but yeah anyway don't worry about all those you know stressful stuff if you just want to learn 3d it is it is best it is best to not remove that creative creative part of learning because it's fucking annoying one relearning relearning navigations in every software is very annoying i just really hope they just put the standard way of navigating not, not navigating like zooming in you know not not that because duh you could easily easily change those things but you know those important things the settings you know the modeling settings and stuffs i don't know what i'm talking about but i know there's they have a very different settings when it comes to full fully modeling you know settings for texturings uh, anyways yeah that's it uh i am I am very sorry for any strong language. 
like I said, I am very drunk and I'm probably gonna regret this later on. You might be thinking, oh, then you shouldn't, should you, 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 you should just not post, post it. You, you, you should, if, I mean, I mean, you're gonna sober up later on, then you shouldn't just post the thing. Well, I like, I like doing, I like making stupid decisions. So, yeah. Uh... Should you take my words? I guess in you know in some kind of level, you know, some certain extent, sure you should. Is are you sure some people would agree to some things that I've said, but most eighty percent of the set the things I've said are bullshit. <laughs> Anyways. Just, just, just create. Just if you want, if you want to learn 3D, then just focus on one software as well. Don't, don't, don't try to learn four software in one, because you're not going. You're not really gonna reach an endpoint, or you're not really gonna learn a lot, because you're going to have to worry about. You know different things at the same time so yeah just have fun don't don't remove the creative stuff in the very first process that's the very first thing that you don't want to remove when you're starting to learn yes it's gonna be very annoying trying to navigate the entire software if you're just starting but just you know while you're doing that just make sure you're having having fun as well just creating doesn't matter if it looks like shit at at the start as long as you're using using the you know the things that you learn while navigating you could probably you would probably learn a lot faster anyway so yeah bye